Hello everyone, I'm Caleb with Wolf Construction Group, and today we're going to talk about safety awareness around your home. June being Safety Awareness Month, we're just going to go through a couple basics. Um, a lot of these things I'm sure you guys know, but we're going to come through them, and then I'm sure some of them you don't. Uh, just a couple basic pointers. Um, one thing to look for um, that's a big cause of sometimes, unfortunately, fires in your home or other safety issues or concerns is uh, lo loose electrical wires or components in, throughout the house. So that can be anything from drop cords. Um, to uh, just loose electrical connections um, with cords going into outlets and it can be as extensive as actual outlets that have loose connections within them. So um, as you can see this one we opened up. Um, of course if you open one up or you feel that it's a little loose like this one was, um, you know it's an easy fix to go in and just tighten it and then put your cover back on. Um, but if you do open it and see that there could be some loose wires or other things, um, you know obviously call a licensed professional and get their opinion um, on coming out and actually doing the repairs safely and successfully. Um, secondly, a couple other things, um, you know, check your smoke alarms, you know, make sure all the batteries are in, test them, make sure they're good. Um, one thing that a lot of people may not know is there are a lot of smoke alarms that are also hardwired into the electrical components of your home. So they're actually not powered by batteries. Um, so that could be a little tricky, you know, but you still have that test button. Um, you can always look up the specifics through the manufacturer um, to see how to test them if you have any concerns with that. Um, thirdly, another thing is um, look for plumbing leaks. Look underneath your sinks, uh, look throughout the house. You know, if you feel any soft spots in floors or, you know, the bottom of a cabinet seems to be a little bit spongy, um, you know, that's a good sign that there is a water leak. It could be something as simple as the, in the P-trap of the sink itself. Um, things, you know, some people may you know, let's stick that bucket under there and catch some water like that. Um, but it is very important that if you do find that, to get that fixed immediately. 